This is going to be a quick video in Photoshop showing you how to adjust the contrast of an image using curves. Uh, there are three ways to do so. Make sure your layer is selected. You can go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. This, however, will destructively edit your image, so don't do that. Uh, you can also go down to the Adjustments icon at the bottom of the Layers palette and click on that. Bring up the, the Curves box, or you can go to Window and Adjustments, and then click on Curves. This will add a adjustment layer above your current one. You'll get this nice little window with a histogram, a line, and a grid. Click here on the grid and here on the grid, and you can easily affect the highlights and the shadows of the image. For example, you can bring this up and make the highlights brighter, bring this down, make the shadows darker, and you have what's called an S curve and gives you high contrast. If you do it the other way, bring this above where it was, bring this below where it was, you have an inverted S curve. This gives you low contrast. You can probably tell that this little window here gives you a lot more control over the detail of the contrast than you would if you use something like brightness and contrast. Uh, one of the benefits of using this as an adjustment layer is you can lower the opacity or you can go back and change it later on. If you do other things in other layers, you can adjust the image again. This is especially helpful if you're working with a black and white image, if you want to control the contrast of it, especially if you want to only affect parts of the image, such as the highlights or the shadows.